Hey everyone, it's Kirsten. We're here to share our full bloom release. Many of you are fans of Galena's pop-up panel die with coordinating stencil, and we couldn't help but add this adorable tulip to that collection. And this time we did something a little different. We added circles and sparkles to the background for texture. The lovely tulip stencil duo has flowers on one layer and leaves on another layer, which is super convenient, especially because the flowers are all lined up in a column. And you can use your guide sheet, reverse side down, to add depth to the tone-on-tone -tone stenciling. You'll also notice that Nina switched to a shader brush, and this is to help get a quicker and more intense color and to make cleanup easier. Now let's take a look at some design team samples. I love the sentiment, you are the rarest bloom. This comes from our newest oversized bloom print die and our bloom sub sentiments die cuts. And we love that you can use these sub sentiments with any flowers you already have in your stash. I love how you can just tear them apart. They're super easy to use. We have lots of different themes of sub-sentiments that are available for many occasions. And this month, for our gift with purchase, we are going to be doing a random or surprise die cut for orders placed between the 5th and the 7th. While supplies last. <laughs> The wildflower wait is over. We officially have the Postage Collage Wildflower Stencil. You can use one color per layer to get that vintage vibe. Or you can use different colors on each flower. In the video, you can see Nina die cutting after stenciling, but we recommend die cutting first. The reason we recommend die cutting first is so that you can use those dashed lines to help line up the stencil. Now let's see some samples from our design team. Keep the wildflower theme going with our wildflower silhouette stamp set. We love that this stamp set works with all the postage collage dies and block stencils. Check out how our design team blended the background to create a lifelike scene. You may have noticed on some of the card samples the Small Sentiment Bloom stamp set. This release is full of beautiful florals. And let's get started with the painted flowers background die. We love the delicate look of the details on this die. You can simply use cardstock to create a tone on tone look and add texture to your background. If you know waffle flower, you know we had to create a coordinating stencil to go with this die. Start with a piece of paper trimmed to A2 size. Take the negative of the die cut and put it on your grip mat and then nest back your die cut to help with aligning to the stencil. There are six layers for this stencil and they're super easy to use. You can use layers one and two for all of the pink flowers and three and four for the blue flowers. And layer five adds the darkest layer. And layer six adds the flower centers. We recommend using dark ink or glitter paste. You're not just limited to two colors on your flowers. You can use different colors for each flower. Let's see some design team samples. Background dies are always fun, but we also have painted flower focal points. As always with our layering dies, we have an assembly guide to help you. And notice on the assembly guide, there's A1 and A2, and those are etched on the back of your layering die. All the layers for each flower are grouped together on one die so you can cut them all at once.
let's take a look at some design team samples. If you like the look of these flowers, you may also like the painted flowers stencil and matching dye. You'll notice that the stencil also comes with a mask for the flower. Simply pull off the mask and start stenciling away. This flower is big enough to be the focal point of your card or your background. You may have noticed on our card samples that we have two new word dies. We have the Happy Mother's Day die and the Happy Father's Day. And all the letters are connected, including the apostrophe on these dies. Kelsey is here to help us wrap up our release. So what do you have to share with us today? Starting off, we have our oversized daisy die and stencil. What I love about this product is the petals overlap. We recommend die cutting first and then stenciling for easy alignment every time. Once you're done ink blending your first set of petals, you'll rotate the stencil for the in-between petals as seen in the video and on our assembly guide. You can stencil the circle with ink or glitter paste or use any circle die cuts. You can also use foam tape for added dimension. We love that we have many sentiments you can stamp in the center of your flowers. Like the sweet Lana stamp set that Nina used here. Or you can use the full bloom sentiment stamp set like our design team did. I love how big the daisy is. You can use it as a focal point on your card or turn it into a shaped card. We love this mixed font sentiment with a flower and bloom theme. We also have the full bloom sentiment matching die to cut out those sentiments to help them pop. Next, we have the Wildflower Stencil. This is a four layer stencil for A2 size cards. Color recommendations are etched on the stencil. Try using glitter paste or a darker color on the last layer for the flower centers. Once you finish stenciling, try using a textured die over top. Or cut out a window for added depth to your card. Now let's take a look at some design team samples. We are working on completing our print and script word die collection. We have take care and get well in both print and script style so you can mix and match. A matte layer is also included to help your sentiments pop. And now let's take a look at some more of our design team samples. As our way of saying thank you this month, the gift with purchase is a surprise die cut sheet for all orders placed between the 5th and the 7th, while supplies last. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoy our full bloom release. We'll see you again soon. Bye! Bye.